personalities podcast and probably walking out of the show before the interview had even started. So there's a clip that we just watched. What is up? Podcast. I'm tired. Uh, with the long time America's got I'm tired. Of crazy white business acumen. I'm tired. Giovanni R. I'm tired. I'm trying to stay up a little bit. I can't. I can't edit, dude. I'm burnt out. I'm burnt out. I can't. I can't do anything. I'm tired. I'm watching uh, uh, a YouTube channel called Sports Wars. Uh, they basically talk about sports involving politics. They're right leaning, of course. So they were talking about how Dana White walked off of Howie Mandel's podcast, and they can't explain the reason why. You're waiting on your ticket video. You're going to be waiting a while. Uh, if you want a refund, just send me a dollar because you have to send me something to message me and just say, give me my money back. I'll give you your money back. Um, I'm not like, I don't like being under the thumb of anybody. I'm not trying to be rude, but yeah, I, I had this one asshole like constantly bothering me because he sent me 40 bucks. So I sent him his fucking money back. Um, like, like, listen, I don't like doing any kind of videos over and over and over again because it gets fucking boring. So if you're still waiting for your ticket video, uh, just... Hit me up with that dollar, I'll give you your money back. Because, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, anybody who wants to, you know, say anything, I'll just give them their money back. I'm not going to be doing, you know, like 10, 10 or 12 people sent me money. Like, I'm not going to do 10 or 12 videos in a row every day. It's going to be like one video a week. If you don't want to wait three months, then just get your money back. That's all. That said, kids, get your money back. And as a matter of fact, I bought $20 worth of lottery tickets because I was going to scratch them on live. I'm too tired. I'll just save them for, um, I'll just use them myself. I don't even like playing the lottery, really. I think it's, you know, I, I think it's fun when you do it on a video or something like that, but um, I don't know. I, I'm too I'm too tired to scratch them. Uh, I would. Maybe I'll get some energy as I'm live streaming. I don't know. So I got $20 in lottery tickets, unscratched lottery tickets. This was the last one that I scratched. It was a winner, um, the last video. I still haven't turned it in yet. And, uh, yeah, just right now, I'm freaking tired, man. Uh, I, uh, I'm at a location unknown somewhere in the great, uh, ungreat state of California. Not great state. Uh, I was in San Jose earlier. I went to just do a quick video. Uh, I actually ended up doing, uh, so, uh, I did a video. It's going to be on my main channel. Uh, it, it won't be up for several months, but, uh, I, I, you know, because I'm kind of super behind on my videos, so I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that fixed within two months. Like I thought I was going to be able to fix the problem, but it's going to take me until the summertime to be able to get back into like a normal mode, if you will. But, uh, this homeless guy, man, let me tell you. So I'm at Taco Bell of all places. I'm just getting fat, eating whatever I want, drinking whatever I want, whatever. Uh, I, I've, I've already screwed off February for whatever. Right. So man let me tell you and i'm pretty sure i don't know if i'll delete this live stream but so check this out i'm at taco bell and i'm going to start doing these videos every time i want to do them i don't have the time to stop so i'm going to start doing them and they're going to go on my on my main channel and if nobody wants to watch them they're okay it's okay they watch other videos I got five years of videos. I got over a thousand videos in there people can watch. So I'm in Taco Bell. I ordered my food and I'm waiting and this uh, homeless white guy comes in. Uh, not not smelly homeless, but a disheveled homeless. He looks like he's, it looks like he keeps clean, but yeah, whatever. So he, he, he asked the lady, he goes, um, he goes, I want to buy a trash bag. And the lady, she don't speak no fucking English like a lot of them do, which that'll be another video that I'm going to do talking about the whole $20. I'll, I'll get that. I'll get to that in a minute. She don't speak any fucking English. And she's like looking at him like, you know, like stupid. So the manager comes by. He's like, yeah. He goes, yeah, I want to buy a trash bag. He goes, I, I need a trash bag so I can collect recycling so I can make some money. He goes, can I buy a trash bag? And, you know, if you're a manager at Taco Bell, and some homeless guy comes up to you and says, I want to buy a trash bag so I can make some money uh, re collecting like bottles and cans. 
give him the fucking uh, give him the fucking trash bag. Just give him. The, just give. Him, he, he just wanted one. He just wanted one fucking trash bag. And the fucking dude's like, I'm not gonna give you an American trash bag, right? So this guy kind of goes on a rant. He's like, you don't speak any English. I'm asking for a trash bag. And then he starts going on this one minute rant. So of course I'm recording him with my with my trusty trusty camera. And then he storms off outside. And I said, I need to talk to this guy. I need to talk to this man. So I'm still recording. So I go outside and I said, hey, I said, what's up? And he's like, starts yelling at me. And he goes, yeah, get back unless you want to help. And I said, yeah, I said, I'll help you. I said, what do you need? And he goes, well, I need a trash bag so I can collect bottles and cans so I can make some money. And I said, I'll tell you what. I said, let me, because my, of course, my fucking car, I decided, let me try to burn off 50 calories. So let me walk down the block. I'll explain like why I was there. So I was like, I was like, listen, I'll go get you some trash bags. Meet me right here. Give me like five, 10 minutes. And then I'll get you your trash bags. He's like, all right, cool. So I get in my car. I go to Safeway, which I'd never seen a Safeway in years. It was so funny to go into a fucking Safeway. Terrible supermarket. But anyways, I get his trash bags. I take him. I, I go back to the Taco Bell. I didn't think he was still there. So he's still there. And uh, I, 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 I pull up to, you know, I stop and I get out. And I'm, st I'm still recording. I got my, my phone and I give him the trash bags. Uh, and he said, thank you very much. I said, no worries. I said, man, I said, you got a minute, man. I said, I'd like to talk to you. He goes, what do you want to talk about? I said, uh, let's talk about like why you were mad at the Taco Bell. And he said, well, because I wanted a trash bag and it was speaking the English. And, um, you know, uh, yada, 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 yada. You know, I just wanted a trash bag. And I'm like, okay, well, where are you from? Who are you? So we talked a little bit. And, you know, I get, I gave him his trash bags. Um, I, I gave him my food from the Taco Bell. I asked him if he was hungry before I left. I was like, are you hungry? He's like, yeah. I was like, you take my food. I said, I'll get something else. So we talked, we did a little quick interview. I gave him a couple bucks for his time. And, uh, you know, listen, obviously that guy has some form or another of mental illness. But you're not going to hear this from me, guys. But I have been in his shoes where you get so frustrated over the sim simplest things. It's, you know, I don't know. But I really felt, even though he's mentally not there, I, I've, in my heart, I felt like his frustration. And I said, let me get this guy's fucking trash bags. You know what I mean? And... uh he said, he, I said, uh, he said, man, I just want to make five. He goes, I just want to collect some cans for this week. He said, he said, listen, he goes, you know, uh, obvi obviously he was get, probably getting social security. He needs a birth certificate. Something got fucked up. He goes, he goes, he goes, I just need to, to make $30 this week to get my birth certificate so I can take it to the social security administration so they can give me back my social security check so he goes i just need to make like five dollars a day for a, for a one week and then make you know it so i can get the money to 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 get my social security and i so whatever so uh that's gonna be a, i think that's a cool i think that's a different quick vlog uh, and uh i felt i felt that guy's pain you know it's it sucks to be it sucks to have a, have a bad a bad brain, you know what I mean? And I'm not talking about people who have a bad brain who kill people. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about, like, just this guy. He's just, you know, he's just. LTSKOG, well, I sure the fuck didn't see y'all on that fucking graph building. Where are you guys at? Of all people, you coming in here and you're not even on that building. You got You got the nerve showing your face. Straight up. You got the nerve showing your fucking face and I didn't see one LTS KOG on that fucking building. Like I said on the news, if you're not on that building, then you're nobody. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, man, them fucking OTRs, bro. They fucking, they, they fucking did that big ass OTR 
on the building the day after I filmed it. So I went back there to refilm the video with that big old OTR right there. And I didn't see that MTA. I guess they did a big ass MTA. Maybe on the other side. I don't know. So I don't know. I give, I, you know, even though it, it is a blight to the, the city, I give anybody props that has the courage to get up there. That's, I'm scared of heights. So scared of heights. You live in St. Louis, but your in-laws live in Needles, California. Well, I, I would rather, uh, I, I would rather live in St. Louis myself. I would rather live in St. Louis. Uh, Lamont CIA. Nope, nope. FBI. Fucking big idiot. Uh, thoughts on Dream Theater? Uh, you probably you probably see my Dream Theater uh, video and you got a heart on. Uh, I think they fucking are boring. I think they're horrible. I think musically, I think they're they're you know they're good musically, but no Dream Theater. Uh, fuck them. They don't deserve. To, they don't deserve to have my ears. You can stop uh, trolling my my. You can stop spamming the the chat. I've already seen your faggot dream theater, fucking stupid comment. This guy fucking comes here to talk about dream theater. Fucking dream theater. Fucking dude, get the fuck on. The fuck is that band? A bunch of fucking douchebags playing violins and cellos with. They fucking skip. Hey, we're gonna rock out with these fucking saxophones. Fuck you and your piano. So it looks like Trump uh, owes three hundred and fifty-five million dollars, dude. That shit is such a fucking joke. I I don't see how in the living fuck that they don't take that case all the way to whoever they take it to and it gets reversed. Fucking stupid liberals in fucking New York. Fucking dumbasses. Jesus Christ. You fucking got a fucking nappy, weave, wig wearing, hair hat bitch who fucking, uh, the Attorney General, Leticia, whatever the fuck her name is. I'm going to get Trump. I'm going to get Trump. Get the fuck on, dude. Fucking wait. Instead of fucking focusing on fucking gangs or, or just serious problems where there's actual victims. They're just out there to get him to try to smear his name for the election. They ain't going to fucking work. He's going to be the fucking president. I don't see how he's not going to be able to fucking president unless you fucking assholes fucking cheat again. Unless you fucking dibs cheat again. And don't fucking get me started on that last election because there's no fucking way that fucking Biden won. Get the fuck on. There's no fucking way that a fucking demented old coot Got 15 million more votes than the first black president ever. Get the fuck out of here. I don't believe you. I don't fucking believe you. Did you look up the story I told you about the other day? Uh, my brain is mush. Um, I uh, My face is fat. I'm fat. I'm like fucking 50 pounds over my ideal weight right now. I have not... Uh, I don't know what story you're talking about. I probably... I probably did see it, but I, I just probably don't have the time. Like next time I come to LA, um, I'm gonna try to stay here for a, for a couple months. I don't know when that's gonna be, but yeah, it's just LA. There's just too many stories for me to do, uh, and it's, it's just too much. It's just too much. I it's just, so I'm going. To, I'm actually going to. Uh, uh, I'll be in Las Vegas uh, next week. So I'll be there for for a week. I'm just going to uh, do some videos that I didn't get to do. So um, hopefully I'll get a, I'll get to do as many as I can. And then uh, the week after, I'm going to fly back to Texas. And then I'm just going to stay in Texas for the next six or seven weeks until it gets too hot. And then when it gets too hot, I'm going to go up north. Hopefully by then either my van will be fixed or I'll have to get a new van. Nicole from Darren and Dad. And uh, Catherine, what's going on? I, I see you, Catherine. I know you're keeping watch. How you doing, girl? Am I still in the IE? I never was. I didn't go to the IE. Uh, I had to. I needed to. I need to. I have a prison interview that I need to go shoot a uh, video for. So I offered you to come to St. Louis for my birthday. I have an extra room. LOL. Ludora Volner. You have an extra room in St. Louis. Uh, I don't remember if you asked me or or invited me, 
Um, well, happy birthday to you. Uh, St. Louis, I don't know when I'll be there. Uh, I, I still have to go do the chain of the, the, the chain of with the bridge, of, the, the bridge chain, chain of bridge, chain of locks, murder. I've been wanting to do that for a few years. As a matter of fact, this is funny. Uh, the chain, what is it called? The chain of bridge murders? It's a fucking horrible story. These four black dudes fucking walking on a bridge in St. Louis. I pass it on the freeway when I'm going between St. Louis and East St. Louis or between Missouri and Illinois. And these four black dudes came on these, there's these, like these, these four, three white, this story was on Forensic Files. These three like teenagers, they're white. Uh, it was like, it was like a cousin and uh, two sisters or something like that, or, or all cousins. And four black guys came and just robbed them, raped them, threw them off the bridge. Two of the girls died. The, the one guy luckily survived. They originally thought that it was the cousin that killed them. It was a horrible story. The guys ended up getting caught. I think two of the guys got executed. And uh, that was a story that I was going to, because um, I remember that. What was that fucking dweeb's name? The History Underground? Uh, he had emailed me about a few years ago uh, seeing if I wanted to collab with him. And I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, you know, he had a, he has a cool like channel. It's not like mine, but it's on that path. So I'm like, all right, cool. He's not trying to like fucking do my kind of video. So that's cool. Uh, and we never linked up because uh, I guess he's a teacher. So he was like, every time I would come to St. Louis, like I just, I would only give him like a day's notice. So I called him like twice or emailed him. I'm like, Hey man, I'm in town. Are you busy? You know, he's busy. He's like, yeah, I'm busy. I'm like, all right. So that was it. So that was supposed to be the video that we were going to collab on. Uh, and I said, well, fuck it, I'll just do it my fucking self. And then, uh, and then he became a big deal and he started doing World War II Nazi shit and then he fucking blew up in subscribers. So congrats, congratulations to him. Uh, his friend's a faggot, but, uh, he, uh, he, you know, I don't got a problem with him. I got a problem with his little fucking GoFundMe, it's just stupid scam shit. That was stupid as fuck. In case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, uh, this dude... His channel is called The History Underground. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. I don't have any problem with him. But uh, he he was in Greece. And uh, so I guess for a living, not I guess, for a living, he's a school teacher, right? And he does YouTube on the side. But he has, he gets, he makes pretty damn good money on YouTube. So he was in Greece and he had all of his camera equipment in his rental car and someone broke it and stole everything. So they stole all his video that he took. So that sucks. I felt terrible for him. Can you imagine hopping from country to country, going from Poland to you know, Germany or whatever the fuck or whatever, and, 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 and oh, they steal all your ugh, that 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 sucks. So somebody started the GoFundMe for him to recover his equipment, and you know the thing is this: uh, you can't recover those videos, and to have the nerve to ask for money to recover equipment that it was your fault that it got stolen number one number two dude you make a you make pretty damn good money and you're getting paid to travel like you're getting paid i mean can you imagine that guys like like right now i know i haven't left the country yet my goal is to leave the country sometime in the spring probably the summer now because like i'm too fat to be traveling i'm, I'm not going to travel this fat I, i'd rather stay here and travel maybe in june or july but can you imagine that you get paid to travel to different countries and then you got the nerve to ask people to give you money on the GoFundMe. Like, get the fuck on, dude. I got to respect that. That was a fucking douchebag move that he did. That's why we had the whole... That's why I did the videos on him. Because I'm like, dude, get the fuck on, dude. Get the fuck on. Anyways. Uh, yes, Biden is a puppet. He's an old, demented coot. And uh, we're going to get him out. Uh, dude, he shouldn't even be running. He's just old. He's just fucking old. Uh, Betty, Betty Confetti's in the building. Uh, Sonny with the forty nine ninety nine. Wow, fifty bucks. Jeez. Well, thank you very much, Sonny. Sonny came home in the kitchen. Wow, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Sonny's in the building with the forty nine ninety nine. I, I want to say that I, uh, uh, I want to say that I, that you've been here before. As a matter of fact, Sunday, I tell you what, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Thank you for the forty nine ninety nine. I'll tell you what, Sunday, what I'm going to do. Wait, actually, I can't do this because then I don't know how to get the money to you. I was going to scratch a lottery ticket for you on a video. I was going to give you, uh, a, a lot a lucky lottery ticket to scratch, but thank you for the forty nine ninety nine. I appreciate it. It's going to go to a good cause. Me. I'm the good cause. Thank you again, Sonny. 
putting her money where her mouth is. That's right. I'm sub to history underground. He's all right. Kyle Bar sometimes though. Yeah, very much so. Um, not a very exciting guy, but the, you know, the thing is his videos are predicated on his, uh, personality and him being lively. Uh, his Hitler's, uh, Eagle Nest video was absolutely dreadfully boring. Uh, but he's did some other videos that are okay. You know, listen, I'm not like a super big history lover. So if you don't really love history, you're not going to really be enamored with his videos. But that, that Hitler's Eagle Nest, that was very disappointing uh, because uh, they painted over the swastika. That's the part of the video that I remember. I'm like, why the fuck? Like, why would they do that? Like, why would you paint over that? Yeah, it's a, it's a bad part of our history, but leave that shit alone. Let us fucking look at that shit. Dude, can you imagine a meteor or fucking mobile instinct or if we went out there and we seen that shit and they painted over it? Oh, we would be pissed. If me and Mobile Instinct did that video, it'd be funny as hell. Like he would do that video and I would go around like dressing like a fucking Nazi soldier with my little I'd like shave my mustache right here. Nine <laughs> Nine Uh, I, I, I had a uh, Mobile Instinct Lamont at Large collab video. I think I accidentally, accidentally deleted it. I'm not, I don't want to tell you what we did, but oh well. Um, we should be linking up sometime in the summertime. Uh, I'll be out his way. Uh, I don't know what the fuck happened to that video, but uh, yeah, that fucking sucks. Uh, that's right, Star Maker. That's right. We're, we're a Trump channel. Or a Trump channel. I have a story about a cemetery you did in New Mexico. Uh, you have a story about a cemetery I did in New Mexico. Uh, what's the story? Uh, I don't see myself going to New Mexico for a very long time. It's just one of those flyover states. Irene Britt, USA. Long time. Has it really been? Has it really been? Uh, watch your video about the sixty-five dollar dirty filthy motel. Yeah, that that you know. Well, at least I, you know, at least I made my money back on what I paid for the video uh, for the hotel. Uh, I mean, I will make it back. So lucky me. Uh, but um, you know, I want to do more dirty motels. The only problem is I don't want to stay in them. It's like they're time consuming because you got to stay in them. It's like I don't want to stay in that. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, I got to do them. I got to stay in them. So. I wanted to do a motel video on the, like the the worst rated motel on uh, on whatever price line, but I don't got time. I need to start a kick channel. I don't know anything about that. Um, I kick is like what the newest uh, social like the streaming platform. I have no idea. Like I don't got time to be an IRL streamer. You know, that was something that I was thinking about doing, like giving my life to IRL. But, dude, that's you got to do a lot of stupid things and you just got to have a lot of time on your hand. And, uh, you know, I don't want to get punched in the face or get thrown in jail. I don't got time for that stuff. Well, thank you, Ross Incognito. Um, well, well, thank you. I actually need to get my teeth cleaned. I need to go to the dentist. And I, and I, 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 I fear, I know I have a cavity right here. I think it's going to need a root canal because I've ignored that cavity for like three years now. So I'm probably going to end up getting a couple implants. Uh, if that, if that, uh, well, maybe it could be fixed. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, someone mentioned Myrtle, Myrtle Beach. I love Myrtle Beach. I want to go down there. Uh, Myrtle Beach is cool as hell. Yeah, for sure. Love Myrtle Beach. That's fuck, That place is fucking cool as shit. I've only uh, stayed there for like maybe uh, two days, twice in a row. There, there was a weird story. I did, I did a quick vlog on it. I think I just did a TikTok. Like that was just like very rarely will I just do a video for only TikTok. But I, I did a TikTok only video where, dude, this guy in Myrtle Beach, he was li living in this ghetto apartment. I, I can't even really tell you for certain how the story went. But basically, this guy got killed because he borrowed $20 from somebody and didn't pay them back. Now, that's not really a vlog for Lamont at Large. But I read it, and then I, I GPS the address where the murder occurred, and it, it was like 
three miles away. I said, ah, fuck it, let me go do it. So, you know, so I did it. Uh, kill over, uh, kill because you, he didn't pay back $20. <laughs> I said, geez, all right, cool. Well, all right, well, not only did he not get the $20 back, but now he gets to stay in prison for a while. Oh, well. Uh... Am I ready to pay up on the bench? Uh, I'm actually planning on going down there to the office. No, I'm going to do a vlog. I'm going to get my teeth my teeth whitened by her. So hopefully she'll be interested in being a part of the vlog. Uh, but yeah, I, I will pay up uh, one way or another. You've got dental implants that are well worth the money. But I heard that when you do the implant, it changes. Someone told me to not do it if I don't have to because it's, they said it changes the, the taste of food. I don't know. Uh, there's a channel that has a series, Another Dirty Room, where they go to the shittiest hotels and review how bad they were. It, it gets messy. Yeah, I, I, uh, it, you know, I don't have the time to really do a lot of those videos because I'm kind of torn between Lamont at large and promoting Lamont on the run. I'm only one person. I can only do so much. Uh, but yeah, um, you know, Lamont on the run, I, I, I just kind of do whatever I can. So uh, I'm trying. Uh, we'll see. So, uh, no, I don't. I, I always have things in my teeth. So if someone says you have something in your teeth, I, you know, uh, I, that's good that people tell me that shit because it, then it makes me want to check my teeth. But I keep forgetting when I do videos. I keep forgetting. Uh, there was a man that I wanted to interview. I uh, hope he's still alive. Somebody did a story or uh, what not about a cop in Arkansas who was still working as a police officer and he was like 96 years old. Um, I don't want to call to see if he's still working. I'm just going to go into that town and just go look for him. And I just want to do an interview with him. I think that's fucking awesome. This cop is 96 year old cop just doing the beat. You know, now he ain't going around catching criminals. This is a small town in Arkansas. So I, yeah, can't wait to do some more, um, uh, interviews. Just, uh, I think I'm going to, uh, maybe possibly upload an interview. I don't know. I'm trying to, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of, Uh, we'll see. Yeah, election day is coming. Uh, Sunny, Sunny did pay for a bit of this room. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, yes, that is true. That is very true. Uh, am I coming to England? I hope so. Uh, I'm trying to get there this summer, and uh, I, I, I fucked up because I should have been there. Uh, I wanted to go there in February, and then shit happened. So. Uh, when I get back to Texas, I gotta, I can't really be traveling because, like, I got too much on my plate. I got too many, like, by the time I get back to Texas, I'm gonna have way too many videos to edit again. And, um, man, I was so close to being almost done with my videos. I think I only, I think I edited everything but, like, 10, 10 or 15 videos, which they're not super important. These are just videos that I filmed, like, two years ago that I could, if I wanted to, either do a voiceover or just go back there later on and do the video, which, you know, whatever. So basically I was pretty much caught up with everything. And then, you know, whatever happened, happened and I came back out here again. So, uh, and then when I get back to Las Vegas, I'll be redoing some videos and then, uh, you know, also try to get my Facebook cracking. I'm trying to get my Facebook, but I just don't, I don't have a lot of time to, 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 to deal with the Facebook, you know, cause Facebook, that Facebook has a lot of, Opportunity. I just don't have a lot of time to fuck with it, you know. Man, that Joy Reid on MSNBC with that blonde hair, she is a fucking weirdo. Hmm. Fucking weirdo. Trump hating black woman weirdo. Uh, so check this out. Speaking of black, I wanted to go over a conversation I was having with a friend earlier today that brought up some really good. Um, uh, points. Number one, uh, so I didn't know this, but you know, if, if you guys remember Rachel Dolezal, she's the white woman that wants to feign that she's black. 
so she has an OnlyFans, and I heard about the story that she has an OnlyFans, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And guys, if you looked at Rachel Dolezal's um, photos online, she's got a fucking banging body. If Rachel Dolezal has a nice body. Now, I don't like um, boob jobs. I don't like women that get boob jobs. I, I just, I'd rather you just be natural. Uh, but she's got like she's got a banging body. She like this fucking bra works out like five days a week. Like she works out. So I give her props. I was actually gonna message her and see if she wanted to do an interview. She ain't gonna do it because uh, first of all, number one, I ain't gonna pay her. Uh, but uh, she's got a banging body. But I was talking to this uh, this friend about uh, black people and how certain black people, you know how like when, you know that that rule about the 1% drop where you're like, oh, you're black because you got like a little bit of black in you. And uh, it's like, well, what's considered black basically is, is the argument. What is black? So uh, I don't know if I could do that video on Lamont on the run. That's a little bit, that because then I don't want to start turning that channel into Black Bigelow. And Black Bigelow, I don't have the time to really edit any of the videos, even though they only might take me 20, 30 minutes. I don't got time to be putting in pictures and looking for pictures and resizing pictures and all that bullshit or whatever. But that's a very good topic. Maybe they'll do the video. I don't know. But um, I agree. Like, there are certain black people that claim they're black. It's like, bitch, you ain't black. Get the fuck on. Like, there's like, oh, I'm black. No, you're no, no, not really. Not really. And I'm not talking about like light skinned black people. I'm talking about like the black people that you would walk down the street and they would say, like, oh, I'm black. My dad's black. And they'd be like, really? Like, yeah. You know, like them kind of black people. Kind of black people like to say nigga in, in, in one aspect. And then on the, on the other side, like they walk around in West Virginia, like, hey, buddy, what's going on? They, they ain't black. It's like Joe Biden said, you ain't black. That's what I did. Like, they ain't black. That's what I think, anyways. So, like that fucking Jack Harlow clown. Get the, get the fuck out. You ain't black, bro. Like, you are a fucking white guy. You are a corny ass white dude. So, I don't know. Anyways. Uh, you need to head up to Alaska to do a cemetery up there. I'm, if it wasn't so damn cold, I would love to go to Alaska. Uh, my goal is to go to Alaska, but I don't think I'll be able to make it this year. It's too damn cold. Because I, I know that no YouTubers really go to Alaska. So. If Alaska was not cold right now, I would, instead of going to Las, Alaska, uh, excuse me, Las Vegas, I might have even gone over there. <sighs> Anyways. That's my get a hair transplant. Um... Too expensive? Would it make sense? I'm already too old. I would look weird with hair. Um, if I were if I were this bald and I were at where I'm at financially, where I could do shit like that, and I was 20 years old, I would probably I would lean more towards doing it. But uh, I'm too old now, and I'm too bald, and it's just you know, um, yeah, it's just I have no interest in hair. I would look too weird. Everybody knows me bald. And then imagine if I had hair and I'm like, oh my God, I would just look funny. You know? So, yeah. Uh, hook hook Aces. Well, no, I, I want to be back in my van. This is not a good sign. Uh, when you see me in a motel, that means I'm not doing good. So I'm doing better when I'm in a trailer or a van. But thank you for your concern. I appreciate that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, do you think you ever covered the story of the radioactive Boy Scout David Hahn? He's dead now from Michigan. I grew up with him when I was a kid. His story is really interesting. Uh, well, why haven't you emailed me? Okay, so let's, uh, look this up. Radi this, the radioactive Boy Scout, David Hahn. Let me add him to my folder really quick. The nuclear Boy Scout. Never heard of him, but uh, let me tell you, thank you very much. Uh, let's see, was he already in my, because I have a collection of, nope, I added him, he's in there now. 
Wow. <laughs> Thanks. That was a, that. That's. I haven't even read the story, and I just yeah, I'm already looking at nuclear Boy Scout. No, cool. Uh, he's in the folder. Thank you very much for sending that, sending that to me. I'll read that story when I'm done live streaming. Capital J giving me a good a good lead. Uh, you call that EDP before mainstream did very very real. Yep, no, he is a piece of shit. Uh, I, I was in Bakersfield about three days ago. I wanted to do uh, an EDP like location video where he got caught, but my buddy he's kind of sick right now, so we're gonna do it. A, uh, we we're gonna do it another time. So next time I go come out to uh, Bakersfield, we're gonna do a whole uh, we're gonna do a whole EDP video. I mean, that's, yeah, it's already old and people are already over it, but I don't give a shit. My channel is not about uh, current events. Uh, do cemeteries in weird ass places that you come across? Uh, it's time consuming, bro. Like I'm one, I'm one guy. It's like it, you know, you're doing cemeteries, true crime. You're doing like I'm trying to do way too many things at once. But trust and believe, uh, it's going to take some time, and and you know, the, one of the other channels is going to have to suffer. We'll have to upload less, which is probably going to be all three of them. But no, I will be doing. You know, trust me. I, trust me. Like. It, it's it's uh, I will be doing more like uh, cemetery videos and uh, you know I, I know like I don't try to cross collab the channels but I know that people from that other channel discover this channel so you know I, I don't like to talk about the other channel while I'm doing this channel but it's impossible to avoid but I will be doing uh, more um, abandoned cemeteries I'll be doing more uh, just, uh, you know, forgotten cemeteries, forgotten places, stuff like that. Uh, uh, thank you, Lisa Brown. Yeah, there'll be some nor more 911. Yeah, th those will be a regular on my channel where I'll put, I'll probably put up one or two a month. Um, when I get to four videos a week, uh, I already, off the top of my head, I already have one, two, I already have two 911 call videos already ready to go. I'm just, you know, whatever. Um, I, I know I've already did a third. That's not ready. I got to combine that with something else. Um, I have one in Texas to do. Oh, no, I got four. Let, let me tell you something, man. That fucking... So I'm, I don't want to say what is what or who's who. You guys probably already know if you'll, you'll figure it out what I'm talking about. But if you guys were mad about that that lady that died in the house fire, uh, there's another one. Oh, dude, let me tell you something. There was... I'll say it on the fucking stream. I don't give a shit. So that lady that drowned in her car... Oh my fucking god! I I I I don't know if I cried like a woman, but that was worse than the than the old lady that died in the fire. Like, dude, I had to stop doing the video because I started laying in on this fucking fat, ugly nine one one call whore, fucking fat slob, fucking ugh, fucking. I, I I had to like stop the video and redo it because I I was like, dude, I I can't. Yeah, yeah, that was terrible. If you guys want to hear a terrible, like that, that lady in Arkansas, oh my fucking god, I fucking, I, I did cry. I'm not gonna lie, I, I cried, I cried. Yeah, I, I cried a little bit. I do. I wasn't like, eh, eh. but no, but I, 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 I guess I legitimately cried. Yeah, it, it, like it was, yeah, it was good. It was kind of crying. Yeah, kind of, kind of cried. Yeah, if somebody would have seen me, they'd have been like, bro, are you fucking crying, you faggot? I'm saying, yes, no. That was a that was a fucking bad video, dude. That like like if you don't have any feeling for that woman, you, you don't have a fucking soul. You're just a heartless piece of shit. And I'm not saying I'm not a piece of shit, but I I I have a soul. And that that is the worst audio of a 911 call I've ever fucking heard in my life. It was terrible, fucking terrible. And uh, you know, I I really had to like calm down because I was really really fucking pissed, fucking really pissed. <sighs> so yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot out of my bottle because I uh, well because I feel like it. Cheers. Yeah, 
Ugh. Yeah, I think when I get back to Texas, I think I'm going to do like a... I am going to take like a break off the alcohol. I have to. I've been drinking way too much for like the last three months. I don't know how long of a break I'm going to take, but I, I might do like fucking uh, at least a month. Shit, I might do the whole fucking, the whole summer. And I have no problem not drinking alcohol. I mean, I like to drink, don't get me wrong, but I, I like it when I don't drink. Fluffy Mandy says, hi, how, hi, Hassam, how are you? Well, I'm doing good, how about you? Uh, I've noticed that nobody's, uh, oh, never mind, hold on, get into that. Yeah, I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong phone. Uh, too famous in Bath, Ohio, LeBron James and Jeffrey Dahmer, what do they have to do with each other? I have a Jeffrey Dahmer video that I never uploaded. I went to the first person he ever killed. I did that video like, fuck, when did I do that video? I don't even remember. What, a fucking, like a year and a half ago? I don't know what it is with these videos. Like, I'll do the video, and then it's just like, I, I it's like, I, 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 I have to redo the video because I, I accidentally deleted it. That's why I need to clear my phone because, like, I'll, I'll be deleting videos. I'm like, where's that fucking video? And I'm like, oh, I accidentally deleted it when I'm deleting videos. So, yeah, this kid, I, I went to the house where... Dahmer, uh, yeah, he killed his first victim. So, and that, that was not a difficult place to walk on because there was no sidewalk. So I gotta go redo that video again. I, I have his grave video. I have that part. I don't have the part where I just kind of walked and talked talk about the story. Have you done any other stories in South Carolina other than in Myrtle Beach? Yeah, uh, the, the, two, the two Nazi skinhead white people who killed the chomo and uh i forgot what county i did that video but actually i put that video on private uh because i'll probably put that on facebook i uh, put that on private because i want to uh message both of them to see if they want to do an interview so that's on private i'll probably take it off of private uh i did that one uh, susan smith drowned her children uh let's see south carolina south carolina uh i i there's i've done one that's not gonna be that's not gonna go up for a two or three weeks um so i got oh shit all right so what i'm trying i'm trying to think what have i done is okay i did the bank robbery where that fucking asshole killed uh four people uh that, that i think that's on that might be on yeah i think that's on lamont at large um that was I, I forgot what city that happened in um I like South Carolina. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, I did that lady that got hung in her wedding dress. That was back like back in the eighteen hundreds. Uh, I did a uh, I did like a, a little boy's grave uh, who had like toys decorated all over it. That looked kind of cool, so I did a video. Um, I did a couple like TikToks shorts. Uh, I'm trying to think of South Carolina. What did I do in South Carolina? That's I got one. I got to go back there to do another one, which is a fucked up story about someone dying. Uh, which seems to be somewhat popular on my channel. Uh, South Carolina, South Carolina, uh, Charleston. Yeah, I've done, you know, not a lot, but I've done, yeah. South Carolina is one of those states where I just, like, when I get there, it's just chill. I like to chill. There's certain places I like to chill. Like, I like to chill. South Carolina is one of them. Like, when I get there, I'm like, like I, want, I don't want to do any videos for a day or two. I just want to chill out. You know what I mean? So I, I ended up not doing very many. Uh, I got one, two, at least two videos ready to go on my channel from South Carolina. Uh, the the Pee Wee, what, what's that? What's that one serial killer? Pee Wee Gaskin, Gasky. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll I'll do a video with him sometime soon. You know, guys, I gotta remind you. Like, I'm one person. This is a big ass country. Like, there's so many. Like, I could upload every day for the rest of my life and I wouldn't even be half of 1% done with all the stories. Absolutely amazing. And uh, it's a good position to be in. So, and I'm pretty sure I've done other South Carolina videos too that I can't think of, but uh, there will be, my other South Carolina stuff will be up. I might put it up in about a, two weeks. So look for that. You consider me black? Yeah, I don't know. That's a that's a horrible, horrible rumor. I don't know. But uh yeah, I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, satisfaction is always all, yes. Black woman pretending to be a uh, white woman trying to be black. Nice body. She has a nice body. I would say... I would say I would say she she was she she would be at almost an eight point five on a body if she didn't have those fake tits, those fake tits to bring it down to back to an eight. If she would be almost a nine in a body, but she just those fake tits just you know don't ladies. If anybody's thinking about getting fake tits, don't do it. Don't don't get don't get them. It's not worth it. It's just it's it's overrated and it, it'll bring you negative attention. Now if you're doing it to make money, go ahead. But if you're doing it for your self-esteem, it's going to bring you the wrong attention. It's like the women who get the, the butt implants. It's the same thing. Don't do it. It's going to bring you bad attention. Bad attention. Don't do it. Joe Buck, announcer, almost died of hair transhere. You mean transplant or transhere? Joe Buck at one, two, and a pitch. Oh, it's single to left. Oh, he dives. He misses. And he could... And he's going to score home. Oh, my God. God, he's got the perfect job. He just sits there. Joe Buck is a good announcer. I'm not a big, the biggest fan of baseball, but uh, he's a really good announcer because he just doesn't even try. Because he just, he's just comfortable. He's just like, ah, don't give a fuck what you think. Yes, Corn is from Bakersfield. I should have done a quick vlog. But I wasn't in Bakersfield, but only two days. I don't think, did I even do a video in Bakersfield? Yeah, I shot a drone for a video that will come out in the future. Um, that's just going to be, that's just a quick five, six minute video. Um, I, I went to uh, 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 Adrian Adonis's grave. I was trying to edit that. I just, I couldn't. I can't do any more editing. I, I think I think I think all the editing on this trip, I think I've done. I think I'm just gonna like edit sporadically. I think when I get to Texas, I'll just chill out, take a one week break from edit. I'll just not get to Yeah. It's gonna be a mofo. Yeah, it's gonna be a mofo. But Adrian Adonis, he's buried in Bakersfield. And uh I I, I did a Bakersfield vlog. I, I lost it. Like, I'm telling you, they'll, I'll do videos and I accidentally delete them. I'm like, where the fuck is the video? I swear to God, I did a video, uh, a gang video in Bakersfield. That shit would have been up already. I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. It's gone. So I got to gotta, gotta do it again. Uh, mm, no, I'm not saying it was worse than being alive. I'm saying, like, the audio is worse. The audio is worse. Uh, but you know, they're, they're, listen, they were, they were both, they were both pretty bad. And, uh, you know, that, that old lady that, that, that died in the fire, that was bad. I almost didn't want to do the video cause like, I felt like I was glorifying her death. Cause I don't know. I just, you know, some videos I'm like, e yeah, I don't know, man. Um, I just, I did it. I did it anyways. Cause like, I got thought it was just terrible. It was a fucking horrible fucking, you know, and there was other people that had the 911 call, but you know, I'm the only one that went and I actually tried to go to the location and I did go to the location, but it was, it was it, cause it's in Florida. So there's nowhere to park. And she lived. See, the reason why like the firefighters at first really couldn't find her address because you know how like you live on a highway, right? So you live like, like if you live on like a two lane highway and then your houses are right there, her house was actually like in the cut. So like when they got there, they couldn't see the flame at first. So if you seen like a big fire, then you're like, oh, okay, there's, they, but they're like, what the hell? Like they, 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 they couldn't, like at first when she called, she would smell smoke. So they're looking for a house, but the house isn't on the highway. The house is like, like 200 feet away and there's a bunch of trees. So by the time they got to the, and then they, the radio communication, they don't like the lady, like they don't know that a late, that, that a person's in there. It was just, it was bad communication between the stupid firefighters and it was, it was just all bad. It was just all bad. And now her house is no longer there. There's no, there's nothing on the property. I, I don't know, possibly a neighbor that lived on the opposite side, bought the house and just kind of combined it into one property. And I couldn't fly the drone over this spot. Man, sometimes, man, when you're in a location, sometimes drones, you just can't do anything, man. Sometimes, like like the video today, I couldn't, it was stupid. Like I drove like, uh, I don't wanna talk about it, stupid. 
I, I waste a lot of time driving to end up not being able to do anything. So I couldn't get my drone. So I couldn't find a place to park because there was no sidewalks, right? And the closest place I was able to go was a park. And it was like half a mile away, which is fine because that drone should be able, even in the city, to fly almost a mile with no problem. I, every time I try to get close to the property, it just started glitching. Like, I just couldn't do it. So I just did, I just did what I could. So yeah. Uh, you have to stop drinking because of health reasons? Well, what are you, are you just going to quit or what? Why don't you just... I mean, health reasons, the man, you must have really fucked your liver off. See, I, I still I still have 10 years to fuck my liver off. I'm fine, because I didn't start drinking. I didn't start drinking really until I was, you know, almost 30. So. Show us the video that made you cry, please. It's not it's not, uh, it's not ready yet. It ain't going to be up for another month, or probably two months. Uh, was it because of Kanika Jenkins and the other cases that followed? Kanika Jenkins. Uh, can I ask why you were scared of doing that cemetery in Chicago? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Kadika Jenkins. Um, I'll eventually will do a video, a quick video about it. Uh, it's, it's just going to be one of those five or six minute videos. Uh, Kanika Jenkins, you know, listen, it was a, it was a girl drank too much, smoked weed, got caught in a freezer. There's no conspiracy. She was not murdered. It was a terrible accident. I feel bad for her. I feel bad for the parents. I feel bad for the family members. Um, there is no uh, conspiracy. She was not murdered. She was not killed. She just, it was just, you know, drunk. Maybe somebody drugged her drink. And it was it just bad. It's just a very terrible, horrible, horrible accident. To freeze to death sucks. Uh, so, I might do a video. We'll, we'll not be going to her grave. Shit, that's just one of those videos, like, I don't want people going to the grave and, you know, doing something stupid or whatever. Um, but then again, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Uh, Casey and Finnegan Grave. I don't know who that is. Go to Strawberry Chapel in South Carolina. See, you guys really need to be emailing me this this stuff. It's always better to email me this stuff. Because uh, when I start drinking too much, then I... You know, Strawberry Chapel? See, like, how do I even... I don't even have my notebook. Like, you would have to email that to me for me to record that. <sighs> Casey and Finnegan Grave. I don't even know who that is. Stephen Hicks. Yeah, that's who I went. That's whose grave I did. Uh, Boogie2988 needs your money. I have... Uh, I'm supposed to hit him up for an interview. I haven't done it yet. Should I do it right now? Let's hit him up. I don't, how do I message him? Let's see if he's on uh, Instagram. Oh, here, here, here I, I, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna message Rachel Dolezal. Well, no, never mind. No, because you guys are gonna be like, hey, this guy's, hey. let's, 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 let's email Boogie two nine eight eight. Okay, well, which one is it? No, that's not it. Eh, never mind. I don't care. I, I don't even know how I'm supposed to, um... Wait, so... Oh, looks like we got... Looks like we got F FBG Butter went to the No Jumper store in L.A., so he he ended up doing the interview. Yeah, I knew he would. I like FBG Butter. He's a, he, does, he tells good stories. He's short as hell, too. All right, so, uh... Uh, let's see. How do I book? I don't even, who cares? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I don't know how to f freaking interview or right, get all of them. Uh, butt implants look ugly. And, well, I disagree. There's some that look good. The ones that look good, you don't know they're butt implants. That's, that's what you want. Like, if you have like a flat H, get a little something, something slight. Yeah, getting these big, stupid, disgusting... Dem oh, God. What are the Mexicans doing now? Sorry, but I'm in a very Mexican part of California. I mean, come on. It's like with the sirens. I'm in a super Mexican part. Like, I'm sure the Mexicans are involved some way or another with this whole siren thing. No, I'm not being racist. Just I'm in a very super Mexican-y part of town. Oh, 
I love my Mexican brethren. If you got a dead battery and you're at a store, 10 Mexicans will jump your vehicle before one white dude or black dude does. That's all there is to it. You can say what you want about illegal aliens and trust me, I talk shit, but Mexicans are the only dudes. They're the only dudes who if somebody buys a house, they'll all get together and help that person like, like fix up the house in one weekend and knock it out. Yeah, culturally, other races should need to learn from those guys for sure. Uh, Alan Wilson with the Aussie 10. Boy, coffee, Mike. Alan Wilson from Sydney. All right, well, thank you, Alan Wilson. And I, Alan Wilson with the 10, with the 10 Australian dollars. Hopefully, I get to go to Australia one day. Thank you very much. Uh, hope maybe it'll be this year. I don't know. Uh, I, I, for me to start traveling internationally, I need to get my weight under control. I can't be traveling. I, I have to be at least in the 230s to even think about it. What the fuck is that? Hey, is that is that Mexicans fucking? Hey, keep it down, hombre. Uh, what's new with Scorpion Grubs? Are you going to do a new video on them? I already did. I'm tired of them. Uh, when are you going out to Charlotte, we'll ride out to Strawberry Shuffle together. Uh, unless you have big tits and a big ass, we won't. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably be doing that by myself. See, when people want to kind of want to hang out with me, they're like, hey, man, let's do it together. Like, ah, dude, I, you can kill me. I don't know you. Like, I, and I don't want to shoot you because I'm going to go to prison. So it's like, dude, you got to be an OG subscriber on my channel. Do you know what it takes to meet me? Like, you got to be on my channel for, like, years. Like, you got to be like, oh, uh, like, like, we were, like, 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 when I had, like, 300 subscribers, you were in my lives. Like, I don't just meet anybody. Like, oh, let's go meet. Like, oh, no, fuck that. I'm cool. I don't meet people. I, I, I don't, I don't have, I don't have the, uh, it's just not worth it for me to meet anybody, even chicks, unless you're hot with big tits and big ass. Uh, I'm not afraid of bed bugs staying at shitty motels. Um, here's a funny story. No, I actually have a friend that lives in, uh, Maryland and she's a female. We've never done anything. We're just like, cool. And, uh, we actually got a room together, um, like, I, maybe I shouldn't say her name. She hasn't been in the chat in a long time. Some of you guys will know her. Uh, and um, she, like, I felt bad because she actually got attacked by bed bugs at a place that we stayed in. I didn't get attacked, but she did. So uh, we left it. We left that 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 day. We I didn't even know. Uh, long story with that. But uh, anyways, I've I've I haven't been attacked by bed bugs since I was like seven or eight years old. So I definitely, when I get back out to the East Coast, I definitely owe her a better time than what she got or whatever. But she's just lucky enough that she had met me, to tell you the truth. Uh, by the way, she was with somebody. It's like, that's it's not a thing. She had a boyfriend or whatever, but I'm way better looking than him, to tell you the truth. Uh, so, I don't know. Ever think about losing weight? All the time. All the time. Thank you for reminding me about my overweight uh, body. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's always a thing. It's always, the, it's been a constant shitty struggle for the last like five years. I wish I can get a hold of it, but for me to get a hold of it, I have to like not travel. For me to like not, to lose weight and be cool, I have to not travel for like, it's probably like when I say not travel, like not travel great distances, I have to do it for six months. So basically, I'm going to say this for me to lose weight, I would have to stay in the Los Angeles area for six months, either that or I would have to stay in Texas, Louisiana for six months, or I would have to stay in like, all right, so for instance, I'll tell you like this. If I wanted to lose weight and I was on the East Coast, I have to stay. I have to go like, for instance, I'll tell you like this. I'll go to, uh, let's say the epicenter is, uh, let's say New York City. So I'm like, all right, I'm in New York City. I'm in New York City. All right, I'm in my van. All right. I cannot travel, like basically going west, no. No, I stay on the East Coast. Now I can go up to New Hampshire, Maine, and I can go down to DC. I have to stay right there for six months. I'll lose weight when I do that. I cannot be like going from 
excuse me, from Alabama to like Missouri and then going over to Tennessee and it, like, no, no, it has to be like one week I'm in a city and then another week I go to a city and then keep doing it. And then, and then, yeah, that's the only way if I'm, if I'm traveling too, too much, I start, I start eating crappy food. Cause then I'm trying to like get all the videos that I want done. So, uh, a perfect place for me to be at to where I can like watch what I eat and drop some weight is Texas because you know I can stay in Houston and I can stay in that area for a month or even hell I mean anywhere where I can stay for six weeks where I don't have to travel more than a hundred miles in any direction for six weeks just stay at an epicenter so on the East Coast New York City would be my epicenter right I think like I don't I stay right there like I don't travel anywhere more than a hundred miles from there so I can go 85 miles uh, Philly go back to New York go 50 miles Jersey whatever pick any city go back to New York Connecticut 60 miles yeah it has to be something like that, that that's that's the only way that's the only way I, it's, it's just not not gonna happen so but that's my fault at the end of the day I blame me it's weak willpower uh one at wanting to drink uh smeared off out of the bottle like I'm doing now so yeah blah 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 it's just not exercising man that's what sucks man it's like a bad habit that I've had for like fucking five years Anyways. Woo. Uh, Mexico, no. I'll be getting it done over here. Uh, I don't know anything about Mexico, and I don't know what they're doing over there, and I don't want to know what they're doing other than cartel shit. Uh, Jersey Fest, long time no see. What's up? Uh, Adrian Figueroa was buried in Oak Hill Cemetery in San Jose. He was ex Terreno shut down in 2017. It's funny that you mentioned that cemetery. I was just there today. Huh. I wish you would have uh, messaged me about six hours ago. Eight hours ago. It's a shame. Hmm. So anyways. Uh, what do I think of Darlie Routier case? Uh, I did that video. That video ain't coming out for two months. I already did the video. I just did a quick 10 minute video. I just did a 911 call. I went. I flew. Uh, I flew a drone, but I decided not to put that video in. Uh, I went up to the house where it happened, and they had a nice house. Um, uh, I went to the grave of the little boys. So, what do I think of the case? Uh, I really, obviously, she 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 murdered her kids. I don't know why she did it. I have no idea. I don't have any, I mean, I have a feeling about it. I feel bad. Uh, an opinion, I don't have an opinion because there's not much of an opinion. I don't, I think the husband still feels that his wife is innocent, which is absolutely fucking ridiculous. He just wants to like hope that, you know, whatever. I'm probably going to, when I get a chance, um, write her a letter and uh, I, it's very hard in Texas to try to get interviews from these uh, people because Texas, like, it's like you, in Texas, it's the only state that I know of that they have a rule that incarcerated inmates are not allowed to do interviews unless it's uh, approved prior by the uh, warden. And the reason why I know that is because I received a voicemail from my warden of a prison saying that I was not allowed to write the inmates. And basically, uh, I called him back and I had a telephone conversation with him. And in so many words, I said, well, is it against, and I Googled this before I told him this, I said, is it against the law for me to solicit inmates? Uh, and he said, well, no, it's against our prison policy. And I said, well, I'm gonna send a bunch of letters and then I guess you'll just have to find out, you'll just have to find my letters, is basically what I told him. Cause I said, if it's against the law, you ain't coming after me. That's your stupid uh, prison uh, rules, not mine. But then at the same time, it's like, then am I wasting my time trying to contact these prison these prisoners in te uh, in Texas? You know, listen, if I had like a very deep, like if I had a very deep channel that was rooted in like prison interviews, I would be straight. That is so fucking time consuming. I'm telling you, 
to 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 talk to people and incarcerated and deal with them and yeah it's very very time consuming if anybody out there and there's not that many people that have a prison channel that is like an interview channel it's very time consuming and it's and it could be very costly but it could be very rewarding in certain aspects i still say if anybody hey listen if you have ten thousand dollars loose hey you hey let me tell you something you want to gamble if anybody likes to gamble you want to take ten thousand dollars don't 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 get, don't take it to vegas hell no start a youtube channel interviewing prisoners because that's how much it would have cost you to get the ball rolling it'll cost you ten thousand dollars because you have to hire somebody unless you do it yourself if you don't have a job and you're like okay i got ten thousand dollars then that's your job is to write prisoners all day long that's how yeah you would need ten thousand dollars to live off of to write them to pay them all that stuff but if you have even $25,000, it's even better. If you are, if you don't have to work, hire somebody. That's a, listen, that's a legitimate business that you can start that you'll make a profit on. Hire, listen, hire somebody. Uh, all right, that's, this is your job. You know what? I would do it, except I, I can't be bothered with it because it, it's, it's, it's something, like I already have my own fake business with the other stuff. I can't do it. I, I, I can't, but let's say if you got some money and you want to like, you want to go in, yeah, like that could, that could be kind of rewarding. And I like talking to uh, prisoners. As a matter of fact, next time we go live, I, I would, I would actually, I would call him now, but I, I'm, I'm too tired, but uh, we'll, I'll have, uh, I, let me say this. I, I did, if anybody see him on, on my other channel, like the video Tommy Two Toes, where that dude shot off the dude's toes, and people were like, I don't believe his story. I don't believe his story. I think he's lying. Dude, let me tell you something. The things that that dude has done, you would wish that he would have only shot off your toes. That's nothing. That's a that's a joke video. Like the the videos are only going to get more interesting with him. And you're going to hear his videos for the next two or three years. Because right now, I, right now recorded, I have about almost a year of material. And we haven't even scratched. Like, because I'm going to start doing like, um, like quicker, like three or four minute, like videos where I'll add to a video that I, you know, that I do. And, you know, that video is fake. He didn't shoot him. Dude, you don't even know that guy. That that guy would... <laughs> when I read those comments, I'm like, okay. Yeah, you don't even know. And it, even when all of his stories come out, you'll still be like, oh, it's fake. All right, well, yeah, I talk to fake people. Okay. Okay, that guy has no reason to lie about anything. Like, he's just, he's never getting out of prison. And, uh, I, I, you know, listen, if I, if, if I had my Bluetooth speaker, I would, I would message him right now, like tell him to call in and you guys, he's already called in twice. So you, some of you guys know who he is. He's called in twice and he's talked. Uh, he's a nice guy. I will say this. He's a nice guy. Just don't cross him. Just don't cross him. And, and, and it, it, you want to hear something funny? Uh, I'm gonna go to my grandmother's house on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna put her. I'm gonna put her on the phone with him. Um, I, I'm not gonna record it, but like I told my grandmother, you know, she's already 92 now, you know, and I, I and I was telling my grandmother about him, and she's like looking at me like, "Why are you talking to these people?" I'm like, "It's just, you know, you make a video about it." And I said, "Do you want to talk to him?" And she goes, <laughs> "Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure." So uh, my grandmother is going to talk to a convicted, um, I'm not going to say what he did to go to prison, but you guys can figure out if he's not getting out of prison, uh, why he's never getting out of prison. So she's, she's going to talk to him on Sunday. So that's going to be very exciting. And uh, I'm just not going to be a speakerphone. It's just, you know, you can say whatever you want, you know, uh, you know, whatever. So, uh, my grandmother is very, you know, my grandmother is, she's thuggish, but she's not like mild mannered. So she could talk to a convicted, uh, whatever. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, uh, Sonny, well, thank you very much. Uh, this asshole says, don't you ever stop talking, blah, 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 blah. 
let me tell you something, Shitstain. Uh, let me explain something to you real quick. If somebody came up to you, right, I don't know what job you do for a living. Maybe you uh, have a good a corporate job. Maybe you're a fucking slob and you live with your father. But if somebody came up to you, right, and said, hey, uh, I'll give you 50 bucks if you give a 15-minute speech on uh, garbage cans, right? Now, maybe you make too much money. So maybe you would say, like, like fuck you, I'm not doing it. Yet. Okay. But uh, let's say you, uh, you know, let's say you have a job, but you're struggling and you're like, all right, I'll do it. So I'll tell you, OK, so write a 15 minute speech. You don't got to write like a 15 minute word for word speech, but you can like kind of write some talking points and then give a 15 minute speech about garbage cans, how they're made, the history of garbage cans. The history of garbage and how we collect it and what do we do with it when we take it in, right? It's a very fascinating subject. So you give your speech and then afterwards, um, people like it. You, you, you resonate with them. So maybe a month later, they're like, hey, man, we really liked your speech. So uh, if we give you 75 bucks, um, can you give a, a history uh, on carbonated beverages? Okay, so you do the same thing, right? And let's say you start getting popular and someone goes up to you and be like, all right, look, dude, we really like your work. Um, we'll give you two hundred dollars if you make a vid if you make a speech about the history of combs, like combing your hair, uh, the different kinds of combs that different races use like hair, just like hair in general. Right. So you would do it. So basically what I'm trying to tell your faggot ass is this. If you got paid to give these speeches or if you got paid to speak you would be speaking too but the reason why little shitty faggot trolls like you say this is because nobody listens to you in real life because you're a pathetic snot face motherfucker right and you know i i probably used to be like you except never never been like you and you know, uh, uh, I've 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 seen a couple comments here and there where people are like, man, you talk a lot, motherfucking fag. If you got paid to talk, you wouldn't shut the fuck up. I'm, dude, I'm getting paid, and I'm not like blow, I'm not bloviating, right? This is like I, I've gotten a couple of donations, and thank you to everybody who's done that. But for videos, like let's say I do, I did a video, right? Like let's say I even downloaded this this live stream, right? And I and I uploaded it. I'm getting paid to do this, right? And I don't believe you're getting paid to listen to me. And if you were in my position, you would be not shutting the fuck up either, right? And I'm interesting enough to where you're listening to me. I'm not the most interesting person around. I mean, fuck, look at Joe Rogan. Millions of people listen to him, and he's a fucking boring bowling ball. I don't fucking know why anybody even bothers with that ass wipe. But of all the people... That you're telling, oh, you should, why don't you go tell fucking Joe Rogan to shut the fuck up? Well, because he doesn't know you exist, and you're a fucking sperm cell under a fucking rock in the fucking river in the Amazon to him, and I just met, you know, happened to see your fucking pathetic fucking faggot troll fucking comment, so that's about all you're going to get from me, so there's your answer. Sunny999, limited time, thank you very much. Sunny again. Uh, with a 999. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I hope that answered your question. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, whatever. Uh, oh, was, was that LTSKOG that said that bullshit? Was that you that said that shit? Or is that somebody else? Oh, it was LTSKOG. Uh, br uh, well, bro, uh, no, they're not up in the... Dude, you guys haven't been a factor in graffiti in quite some time. So uh, other than legal pieces, yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not talking shit to get mad at you. I'm just saying, I'll just got through it. KOG LTS was a huge factor in the '90s and early 2000s. But uh, yeah, you know, I don't know what you do. I don't know what you get paid to do. But uh, yeah, you don't get paid to talk. I do. So shut the fuck up. Thanks. Anyways, uh, uh, yeah. Any time to get back in the gym? Hopefully one day. Hopefully one day. 
drive to Deadwood, South Dakota, Wild Bill, Hillcock. Yeah, I don't got time to do all that. See, that's the stuff. That's like the like the old old West, the Legend West. I don't got time to do that. Uh, one day I will for sure. One day I will for sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure people have already did those videos, and uh, I will do those videos in my own time because people want to see how I do them. So, uh, what about the lady that put her baby in the oven? Alice Martinez, what is up? Uh, uh, well, I, the oven is that a, if you're talking about the news story, um, I don't, I don't remember where that's at. Um, I did the video about the one in the microwave, so yeah. Uh, ever thought about AA? Yeah, AA is for people that want to quit, AA Alcoholics Anonymous is for people that like. See, there's a difference between being an alcoholic and drinking. Like, when you're an alcoholic, it, it destroys your life. Like, you can't function without booze. Like, you can't, like, it just, it, it fucks your family life up. It fucks your job. Like, you end up getting fired from your job because you're drinking, right? So that's not me. I'm not an alcoholic because I don't drink during work. Now, I ain't going to lie. I have because it's boring. But I don't need alcohol to function. I don't get the shakes. I don't do none of that. Like, if somebody told me, hey, you can never drink for the rest of your life, the only problem I would have with that is, like, when I'm with my friends and we all have a drink, that would suck. Other than that, like, if someone said, you're not allowed to drink by yourself ever again, I don't give a fuck about that. It doesn't bother me. Uh, like, people that, uh, you know, Alcoholics Anonymous people, uh, they're the kind that they can't control their drinking because they start drinking and next thing you know, they're fucking touching their kids or they're fucking driving around, fucking looking for prostitutes, spreading diseases, taking it back home. Uh, they're fucking uh, doing shit at work, fucking missing days at work, fucking all kinds of fucking disgusting nonsense. And that doesn't fit my character. Uh, yeah, that's, that's weirdo shit right there. Having a beer uh, when you get off of work and then kind of go at like drinking on a weekend and then you wake up and go to work and handle your business, that's not an alcoholic. You're just drinking with your friends and and, and uh, kind of going ahead and, and just, you know, you're decompressing. There's a difference between decompressing drinking and being a raging alcoholic. Some people just can't handle it. You know, I can easily handle it. But I like to drink. And uh, it doesn't affect my life at all. Nothing affects my life. Uh, you guys might have things that affect your life, like, you know, your rent goes up. All right, well, that, that affects your life. That ain't affecting my life. I don't have any fucking rent. I don't have any fucking worries. I don't have any stresses. I don't like, oh, my God, what am I going to do tomorrow? No, I don't have that. Like, oh, my God, what am I going to do, do tomorrow? It's like, oh, my God, what story should I cover? That's about the, the most stress I have in my life. I don't have any fucking children. So, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm looking for an interesting comment to, uh, to, uh, to respond to. Let me see. Uh, did anybody, uh, I guess you guys all heard about the shooting that happened at the Kansas City Chiefs Pride Parade. Or not Pride Parade. What the fuck am I talking about? Fucking Pride Parade. What the fuck did that fucking Pride shit come from? The Super Bowl fucking parade where they got shot up. Oh, oh well. Oh, well. Uh, my van is in Texas. You're so hot and I love your attitude. Thank you very much, Jer Jerica. Or is it Jeraka? Whatever it is, thank you. you. You have very great taste. I am hot. I am very sexy. I am very confident. And I can do whatever the fuck I want. And it feels great. I just got to lose some weight. I got to lose about 50 pounds. But it's still... it's still every, Any woman that would be lucky to meet me, you would love every, every inch of me. Or every half inch. LOL. Do you? Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yes. Uh, my grandma died at 2016 at 71 years old. She was the best. I miss her so much. Well, I'm sure that she was a very good person. She's that kind of young, 71. And, uh, well, God rest her soul. Uh, yeah, there's some trolls in here, but they're, they're uh, the trolls are allowed. Where is Kale? She's hiding. 
as she should be. As she as she should be. What what are we doing? No filter. Uh, we got uh, Miss Fields making a making a kids arrested for the shooting. Yeah, it was like two kids and an adult. It's uh, it's just black black people. That's it. At first, I thought it was like a white person, right? Because like I was talking to my friend, I was like, "Oh my god, it was a white person." No, it was, it was niggas. Niggas just being niggas. Just uh, I don't want to talk about it. it. Gets me pissed off. But yeah, it's just more 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 niggas. It's like Chris Rock said, you know, black people, and then there's niggas. It's just niggas. Just don't know how to fucking act. Just fucking. Jesus Christ, you fucking pull, you pull out a gun and you start shooting and then that fucking lady had to die because you're just a fucking nigga. Fucking dumbass ghetto motherfucker. Just, come on, man. Like, just, man. And, and people want, people wonder why people are become racist. Man, you, you motherfuckers just made a whole entire Latino family racist forever. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, you just created, because that whoever it was that was black that killed that lady, she was she was Latino, Latina. You just created a whole new generation of racists. That's it. They're gonna hate black people forever. It's good. Niggas just don't know how to act. And then see the problem is niggas is that they're they're outnumbered by normal black people. Like normal black people, they just do normal shit, and they just do normal black activities, but they don't do nigga activities. Like they do, like you know, they 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 go to school, they go to church, they pay their bills, they visit their their mother and father, check on them, and then niggas, they just they're wilding out, gang banging, listening to drill, and they they just they. They, they're just louder, and then and it just and it gets enveloped, and it just makes black people look bad in general. And then you know, you, you got black people like, well, why, why you, you know, blah, 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 blah. it's just like it's just I don't know, it's just a never ending. <sighs> Alina Habba, I think that's Trump's attorney. She's. She's kind of hot. I just think she's Arab. Arabic. It's just all bad around at the end of the day. It's just, you know, if black people like stopped associating with niggas, it'd be all right. But they won't because they just, I don't, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I don't know why they do that. But let, let me tell you, let me tell you something. Um, I, I went to do a quick video and I'm, I'm probably never going to upload it because it just, I, I, it, it, I don't know. I went to where Suge Knight, Suge Knight, if you guys don't know who he is, he's the um, founder, of, the co-founder of Death Row. So Suge Knight is currently doing 28 years in prison for running over and killing one of his friends. Uh, he was founder, co-founder of Death Row Records, you know, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Tupac. And I went to the burger joint where he ran the per the people over, right? So as I was doing my video, I seen this young, this young black dude, 25 years old, walking towards me, right? And I was just finishing my video, and I had nothing. I didn't, I didn't, you know, I don't got no nothing on me. I, you know, I, I flew out here, so I don't have anything on me. So he's walking towards me, right? I, I ain't, I'm not nervous, but I'm like, why, why the fuck is this nigga like walking towards me, right? And he's like sagging his pants. And I'm like, does he recognize me from YouTube? And he's with like two, like two other people during the SUV or whatever, playing their fucking music. And I was like, I wasn't scared. I don't, I don't get scared. I, I get a little nervous. Don't let that fool you. Everybody gets nervous. There's a difference between being scared and being nervous. So I got a little nervous. But I ain't fucking scared. I I mean, I, I, I'd be lying if I said I ain't scared of shit. If you put a gun in my face, yeah, I'm going to be scared. But he was by himself. He ain't that much bigger than me. So I was just... I was about two seconds from, like, being, like... He walked right past me and went to the bathroom. 
I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it just picked the best. But that, that's, that's, when you're in L.A., you got to be on your P's and Q's because these motherfuckers are not, like, it's different. Like, New York and Philly, it's, it's, it's different mob mentality. Out in L.A., because it, there's so many famous people coming over here and spending Man, I'm telling you, like, that whole shit with Pop Smoke and fucking P&B Rock, man, these fucking, dude, let me tell you, I, guys, you want to hear some fucking, you want to hear some dumb shit, you guys are probably going to think, like, dude, you're full of shit, you're full of your own self. Dude, if that if I meet a motherfucker on a street in LA, if I got my 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 camera and I'm like, yeah, blah blah blah, if this motherfucker said, oh yeah, hey man, you got a YouTube channel, I'd be like, yeah, uh, I, yeah, motherfucker, YouTube's most wanted, yeah, yeah, or I, I or I won't tell him shit because if these motherfuckers see that you got a like a like a happening YouTube channel, how the fuck you know they ain't fucking stick a fucking gun in my face and tell me to fucking cash out them fucking three thousand dollars i ain't fucking stupid i ain't let me let me tell you like this I, i'm gonna just leave it like this uh every time i come to la i try to like drive here and i'll tell you why because when i drive out here motherfucker i'm well protected when i fly you gotta check shit in and it just becomes a i, I don't want to deal with it but la is that type of place it, they're very they're very like thieves are very crafty and they're very they're just very swifty and they're very shitty. Like LA is a fucking like because you got the movie star shit mixing with hood criminal thuggery type shit. You know, I like listen, I don't ever want to be recognized in LA. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever been recognized in LA. I don't remember one time somebody in LA said, Oh, I know who you are. So, uh, 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 when I was at a cemetery in uh Fresno, a girl recognized me when I was like looking for a grave. She was like, "Oh yeah," like she was following me. Right? She's like, like she was following me for like thirty seconds, and I, I was getting annoyed. And I kind of slowed down. And I turned around, and she's like, "She goes, uh, excuse me." She goes, "Are you Lamont at large?" And I was like, "Yeah, what's up?" And she goes, "Oh my god!" She goes, "Me, and my sister, you know, love you." Man. And so we talked for about fifteen minutes or whatever. Nobody, I'm not bragging of this, this is what happened. Like, that's the closest that somebody's recognized me to Los Angeles is that. I don't, I don't, I never got recognized in Los Angeles. Never. I don't remember ever someone say, oh, hey, what's up, Lamont? Never. Ah, stretching. So, friends, that's the closest. That's the closest. But you got to be careful when you're in fucking L.A. You got to fucking be careful. Because these motherfuckers will try to be fucking... I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They're trying. Uh, no, I'm fat. I am fat. But thank you very much. I appreciate it. But no, I'm fat. Uh, Lamont, come to Pensacola. There are some crimes you can cover. I can't go over there because that's where Christina, uh, what's her name? What's that? What's that bra's name? Christina Randall. She lives in Pensacola. I can't go over there. Uh, uh, she has a, uh, she has an injunction against me. No, no, but seriously, I got, no, I'm sure Pensacola does have stuff. I just, Pensacola is like one of those, it's like, uh, you're, you know, you're almost to Mobile. You're like, get the hell out of Florida. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be over that yonder. By the way, uh, yeah. No, Christina Randall's pretty hot. She's just really, really cutesy, stupid, annoying. That's it. She got a nice body, though. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, Tom Bolger, you're fighting in August. What the hell? Fighting where? I don't understand. <clears throat> uh, uh, my son is black. He's autistic. Okay, well, you you better get your son some paint. Get him some... Uh, so you might want to get him some, like, pastel colors. It depends on what his medium is. Uh, clay. Uh, don't get him any spray cans because he's going to fuck your house up. But, uh, yeah, make, make him sure that... Uh, uh, the cemetery enthusiast... Mexicans are worse. Wow, dude, you're racist. And you have a cemetery channel? Wow, you're you'll be really popular here. 
Hell yeah. If anybody wants to subscribe to a racist cemetery. <laughs> hey, if anybody wants to subscribe to a racist cemetery channel, <laughs> cemetery, <laughs> the cemetery enthusiast. Yeah. Wow. He loves Trump and, and hates. Yeah. Well, just go check him out. All right. Very good. Uh, Pamela Woo is in the building. Yeah, that cemetery enthusiast, he said, Mexicans, not in my cemetery. Well, dude, listen, everybody dies at the end of the day, sadly. I don't want to die. We're all going to go through that trip together or, or alone, which sucks. That's like the scariest thing in life. So you're scared about wanting to fight somebody? Imagine, like, death is at your door. That sucks. But the cemetery enthusiast, he's like, yep, no Mexicans where I'm going. All right. He's going. He's got his own section at the cemetery. I respect that. Uh, kind of like that Mark Latia guy. Those people are always begging him for money. Uh, Mark Latia. That's the the uh, South White Underbelly. Man, hey, let me tell you something. Other than other than Mr. Beast, he makes the most money on YouTube that I've seen. Like that's that dude. That guy makes like money and you know what's so wonderful about him he like he's probably not even the type of guy that like he's not greedy you could just tell like i mean i can't tell but he he, he just sees a machine that guy's a fucking machine like i can never be like that because then you have to involve people in your operation and i'm not going to involve anybody in my operation if i if i get anybody involved it's only going to be like one or two people at the max like the maximum for me to involve two people, that's it. It's it's only two people. And I don't even think it'd be two, it'd probably just be one. And this guy, yeah, he's a fucking machine. He makes money. But I'm not saying he makes money and he's like, yeah, I, I need to make money. He's just a fucking machine. He's a fucking machine. Yeah, yeah, major, major, major uh, props to that guy for sure. Is it Lady or Alicia or whatever? I don't know. Uh, how much longer do you think it'll be before Hannah breaks up with Shane? She's not going to do this fake relationship forever. You know, listen, it depends on the veracity of her mental illness. I have no idea, um, or not veracity, ferocity. I don't know. It just depends on how. Dude, she's fucking young. Do you, don't you think that her mother wants her to fucking have a baby and settle down and be serious and get away from this fucking fake, stupid-ass bullshit that she's spinning? And, you know, listen, I don't deny the fact that she does, that she doesn't love Shane. She, I'm sure she fucking loves him. She loves him like how I would love a cat that I've had for 10 years because that's what he is to her. She, he, he's a cat. There's no physical bond. There's no intimacy. There's no... I love you. I want to suck your dick. I want you to, you know, go down on me and I'm going to do something really disgusting that I would never do to anybody. See, there's a difference between love in love and like, and no, they love each other, but it's a brother sister uh, relationship. There's no fucking way that a woman would be able to wipe a man's ass. Like, you know, you defecate into a bag or whatever, however you do it, pampers like this guy, obviously like he wears pampers, like he wears diapers, come on. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to like uh, ridicule him. It just, it is what it is. There's no way that this guy can defecate on his own. He can't. How is a woman going to suck someone's dick and then like clean up their defecation? That doesn't work that way. No, there's no bond. There's no intimate. You can't, listen guys, not to, not to get into the weeds, but there's a certain smell about people like Shane. Like, you know, it, there's just a smell that you can't, there's no intimacy. That's why when people are saying like, oh, it's for real. Like, no, it's not for real. She, Hannah's mentally ill. No, she, no, there's no, no. No, you don't want to suck somebody's dick that you just clean like shit off their balls. That's not how that works. That doesn't work that way. And it's just true. It's, it's sad, but it's true. Like I said, I felt bad for Shane. I shouldn't be drinking anymore because I'm pretty much done, but just wetting the whistle. Yeah.
But uh, yeah, so so for Shane, listen. Yeah, listen. That that's it. No no woman's gonna clean the shit off your balls or clean your catheter out and then blow you. That that doesn't work that way. And you know, I, I wouldn't want to do a video like being like that, but it'll probably get flagged. But that's true. Like that that doesn't work that way. Like a woman a woman like a real woman like wants to be held. Like a woman wants a man to like like caress her. A a, a, a woman wants a man to grab like listen. A woman likes a man like, oh woman tuned to my sense sen you know, my, my my sensitive side. Yeah, sure thing, yeah. And then that same woman wants to be like bent over a couch and fucked. Like hard for like ten minutes. Like and just like choked and fucking hair pulled and ass smacked and, and just roughed up against the wall. And then you go out and go get a fucking Whataburger. That's how it works. You mix it up. She doesn't need some some fucking brawning fucking marauder, but like a guy that can't do anything a guy that can't even pick his nose. Yeah, a woman is not gonna a normal woman is not gonna seek the affection or the attention of a man who is basically a brain in a shell. And I'm not trying to like like, you know, I'm not trying to make fun of him, like because that could be me. And if that were me, I would want somebody to take me behind the barn and blow my brains out. And then uh, actually blow my brains out into the pit, into the pigs, the, where the pigs are, and then let them eat me. Like, that's it. Like, I don't want no remnants on me. Just like, I'm a memory. Fuck it. And uh, just don't tell me you're going to do it. This is how it is. And then, and then and, you know, when women, when they like, oh, you're a pig. Oh, no, this is real. Yeah, like, you don't want to get fucked? Like any woman that says that, like, oh, this, like you don't, you don't, you don't want, like, are you like seventy five years old? That because then if you're seventy five years old, then your opinion doesn't really count because your sexual prowess is, has been over for at least ten years. You're seventy five years, old. and I'm not saying seventy five years old don't don't want to get laid. I'm sure there's seventy five year old women that want to get laid, but like you know, if if a seventy five year old woman is like a widow, her her husband died like ten years ago, yeah, she's like, oh yeah, they're real. Yeah, but if your husband were alive, you would want him to ramrod you, right? Do you not have feeling? Do you not have? Do you do you not have control of your body? Do you feel pain? Do you love? Do you hurt? Do you want to get? You have earthly uh, desires for intimacy, don't you not? That, and and then the people that like that say like, oh, I believe it's real. Like they're pretending that either their ostriches and their heads are in the sand. Or they're they have robotic feelings and they don't feel they don't feel they're not human they don't feel emotion they don't feel uh, empathy they don't they don't love they don't hate they don't feel burning they don't feel cold and, and 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 ice and they don't feel uncomfortableness they don't feel when the AC is too cold or when the heat is too hot these people are fucking phony and you know I wish that every comment that when they come by I would call them out but I don't have the time to. But this will be the time now to call these motherfuckers out for what they are, which is actually absolutely just a bunch of fucking phonies. Like you don't, you're not, you're not a real person. You're a fucking fake. You're an android. You, you have the, you have the personality of my S22. Like you're fucking get the fuck on. Like you don't exist. You don't feel. You you don't you don't have you know like these these people are just nothing. They're fucking stupid. They're not even stupid. They're just dumb. They're just dumb. And, you know, I don't know. Life of Nate, long time no see. Dude, we got to get you and uh, Kenosha Three Point Shooter to, to get it. Like, we got to get you guys on the phone again. Uh, what's worse, Chicago or LA? Uh, okay, that's a good question. And I've got e I got an easy answer. It's Chicago. Uh, uh, but I'll, I'll say it like this I, I will say Chicago's worst. Um, Chicago is worse. How can I explain this? Because no, Chicago is the answer. See, but Chicago is a smaller section that's worse. So there's a small section in the whole of Chicago. See, when people are like Chicago, 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 like the the very bad areas, there's not that many areas to tell you the truth. Fucking L.A. The shit spread the fuck out. Like, see, L.A. is weird. Because, like, L.A. is super spread out, right? There's more people 
like that live in the uh, greater LA area than Chicago. See, Chicago's not compact. They spread the fuck out. The Chicagoland area is just like when do you. I mean, I you know I can go in and in and in and on and on and on about like the different like parts of the Chicago land area versus the L.A. County area, but here's the thing: in Chicago, the shitty parts are the south south side and the west side, right? If you, if you don't live in the south side or the west side and you're in Chicago, then you just live in an average big city that has crime. Just stay the fuck out of Chicago. Just stay, stay out of the South and the West. North Chicago is fine. East, there's no such thing really as East Chicago. When you're in LA, it's fucking spread the fuck out. Like the nonsense is spread out. You can get fucking killed in Venice. You can get killed in fucking Venice. You can get killed in fucking Carson. You can get killed in fucking Long Beach. You can get killed in the Valley. You can get killed in SGV. You can get killed in fucking Pasadena. Like this shit, because it's so spread the fuck out. You can get, like Chicago's not spread out like that. Chicago's only bad in those two parts. LA, it's like, it's bad, but then it's spread out. It's fucking weird. Like, you know, like Long Beach has its parts. Like, okay, it's it's cool over here. Don't go over there. Even South South LA is, is shitty. Compton, it's it's Compton shitty, but you know you, you'll be safer over more on the east side of Compton when you start leaving that area and you start going towards uh, Santa Fe Springs and all that. It's not that bad. Um, but, but when you're in Compton and you start getting closer to the uh, South LA area, then you start getting shitty. Southgate is the same. It's, 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 it's just, it's different. But I would say like centrally located Chicago is fucking, yes, yeah, fucking more dangerous, but LA gets more spread out. If that can answer your question. Life of Nate, we, we need to get you in Kenosha three point shooter and on the phone again. Uh, Andrew G. Uh, yeah, you see me on the news. Yeah, you like that? When I was talking to uh, Hal uh, Eisman. Yeah, they, they uh, I let them use my drone footage for part of their uh, cast. Yep, yeah, pretty proud of myself. Uh, there's a lot. Jerica, Jeraka, or Jerica says there's a lot of stuff in Alabama. Girl, you and I know. Yeah, no, Alabama, I could stay in Alabama for two months. One day, one day, um, no, Alabama has a lot of stuff. Uh, guy, guy got killed over phone sex. That was kind of fucked up. He's in Alabama. Uh, the other stuff that I don't want to say, cause then either I won't do it or there'll be some spies. And I, you know, there, I don't know if there's spies in the, in the chat tonight, but you know, there's other channels that, you know, they, they, they spy. They wanna they wanna go through my my lives to, to pick off my 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 story so they can put it on their fucking faggot channels. So we're not doing it on this channel. Nope. I hate spies. So fuck you spies. And don't worry about what I'm gonna do. Why don't you go worry about copying me? You fucking mimes. Yeah, I fucking said it, so what? Fucking mimes. The mimes coming over here like Woo, 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 woo. You remember the putties from Power Rangers? I got some putties. The fuck out of your putties. For three of us to grieve, a brother. Get the fuck out of here. Anyways. Uh, is Tim in the average? What are you talking about? That nursing home smell. Yeah, bro. That's what Shane smells like. That's what Scormy and Grub smell like. It's that nursing home. It's like a, it's like a, un, it's like a, how do you explain it? I smelt that smell because I've been there. Uh, not because I'm, I'm visiting somebody, it's because I've been there for other shit. Yeah, it's just a, it's like an unclean, it's like, it's like they're cleaning, but they're not clean. They're just doing what they can because you can't really bathe somebody. Like if you're bathing somebody and they're like bedridden, you can't really clean them the way you want to clean. It's that kind of smell. It's like, it's like a, it's like dead skin cells. It's like death. It's like partial death. It's a fucking disgusting smell. If I started smelling like that, blow my fucking brains out. That's it. Take me out.
Fucking take me out. I don't want to smell like that. It's like that old people, dead skin cell smell. Aquan the F is in a building. Would you like to come to put Kana with me in August? To punt Kana? The hell is that? Punt Kana? She probably has to pump Shane up like a bike wheel. She ain't pumping nothing. There's no, there's no pumping going on in that home. What's Punt Kana? In August. I don't know if I'm going to be around in it. I mean, I'd be open to it, but I don't know what it is, and I don't know where August is. <sighs> uh, Chicago is a death trap? It could be. Jerrica Lamont is gay and I'm starving. What does that mean? I'm gay and you're starving? So I'm gay? I don't understand that. If I were gay, uh, I, I would personally believe that if I were gay, I would be open, openly gay. Like I would think, I'm pretty sure I'd let everybody know I was a fucking pole smoker. But, uh, I guess. I'll be whatever you want. I went to Chicago in December for a weekend. Didn't seem bad, but then again, it was only a weekend and we stayed downtown. <sighs> yeah, that's nothing, bro. Like, you were staying, like, dude, you were about six, or you were about at least six miles from the bad shit. Downtown is fine, dude. Like, down, downtown Chicago is safe uh, for the most part. I mean, you'll have your flash mobs. Um, it's clean. You're not going to see a lot of trash. No, you're not going to have any, any problem. You stay in downtown. You stay east of downtown. You stay north. Um, all of that, dude, you're fine. Just stay, I mean, even south. If you're south of Chicago, what's south of Chicago? I don't fucking know. But listen, just stay the fuck away from the west and the south side. You're fine. You're, you're like People that come to Chicago for like a three-day weekend, they're like, oh, they're like, what's the big deal? I don't understand. Because they're not going to the fucking west side or the south side. It's that it's that concentrated area, and once you and when you do go there, like it's there's like you don't know it's a bad area because there's no trash. That's a scary thing about Chicago when it comes to somebody being a tourist. Go to a very shitty part of Philly, you'll know you're in the uh, like. Okay, I'll, I'll explain it like this: if you're in, if you live in Montana and you come to Philly. You know you're in a bad part of Philly because you're going to see a lot of graffiti. You're going to see a lot of fucking bums nodding off and drugs. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? You're going to see a lot of trash and graffiti. In Chicago, you'll see graffiti, but there, it's weird. There's not a lot of graffiti in the really shitty parts. All the graffiti is like in uh, like... Like parts of uh, like, I guess it would be considered the West Side, but then you're going towards the, like the Mexican areas. They're the more Mexican areas. Like you don't see graffiti in the black areas. It's like more the Mexican areas, like more of the the West Side of Chicago, but going towards downtown, which is not bad. When I say the West Side, I'm talking about where the black people live, straight up. And and but when you go to the really bad parts of Chicago. There's there's not a lot of trash. Chicago's a very clean city. People would be surprised. Compared to LA, Chicago's fucking magnificently clean. There's not a lot of trash. No. Like you're like, wow. Like when I first seen Chicago, I'm like, this place is I mean, you know, I go because I went all over the place. I'm like, oh, this place is bad, but they, they, their their trash problem is pretty good. Like they don't got a lot of trash. Like fucking LA is like fucking gross. Like Philly's gross. Like Chicago's clean. You know, whatever politics, their fucking stupid ass uh, aldermen, councilmen, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is that they're doing, they their fucking trash abandonment or abatement program is fucking phenomenal. Fucking phenomenal. If you live in Chicago, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You guys, if you think like, oh, there's some trash over here. No, y'all don't have any fucking trash. Fucking L.A. has trash. It's, Dallas ain't got no trash. Like, like Dallas, Houston, no. There, there's no trash over there. You go to Mississippi, there's a lot of trash over there. Yeah, LA's got a lot of fucking trash. Las Vegas, no trash. Las Vegas is the cleanest big city in the nation. 
Las Vegas, no trad. They don't do that shit. Nah. They, like, Las Vegas is clean as fuck. Like, I, I will tell anybody right now, go to Las Vegas and, and show, other than this extreme bum area, show me a place where there's, like, fucking trash everywhere. They don't do that in Las Vegas. It's clean as shit. They, they, they keep the, the, the streets clean. Uh, you might have your little pockets, but other than that, you go to Las Vegas, it's very barren. They don't have, there's no trees, there's no cactus, there's no nothing. There's rocks and beige, but there's no trash. Las Vegas, and maybe even Phoenix too, clean, cleanest big city in the nation. Las Vegas. What out of shadow of a doubt. Uh, someone said, love you, Kale, from Must Love Dogs, wherever she's at. Uh, New York is, uh, you know, this, you know. Listen, New York is like any other big city. It, it's, it's. I wouldn't say, you know, from what I've seen, I wouldn't say that New York is like overly abundant. Like New York is like, it's not like Chicago. It's not that clean, but no, Ch Philly's fucking filthy. Ch uh, New York for the for a city its size. Uh, you know, listen for a city its size. You know, the the Bronx is fucking filthy. Um, the, Queens is 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 relatively okay. Brooklyn's okay. Uh, Manhattan's clean. Harlem, which is right next to Manhattan, clean. The the only borough and then, listen, I'm ignorant. Like, I, I haven't I haven't been in New York long enough to really say this. Um, hopefully this year maybe I will. So I can't really say for for certain. If there's somebody in New York that, because uh, I gotta go use the bathroom real quick. Uh, number one, of course, but, um, if there's anybody in the chat right now that lives in New York, if I'm wrong, please tell me the only borough that is filthy is the Bronx. The Bronx is fucking dirty and it's not even that filthy, like it's, but it is dirty. Brooklyn is not that bad. Uh, I gotta go use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Don't look at my body. I'll be right back. <laughs> Did you guys like that I was like washing my hands like I was about to prep for surgery? I know a lot of you ass wives were like, you don't fucking wash your hands like that normally. Well, fucker, how do you fucking know, ass wipe? I was just driving you. I love how I was fucking making you puppets dance when I was just washing my hands. You're like, you fucking, he's just doing that because he's alive. Well, how the fuck do you know? How the fuck do you know? You don't know shit, so shut up. And listen to me. Anyways. Why do I... Are you half white? Why do you call yourself Black Bigelow? Uh, I don't fucking know. I don't know. What the fuck? I don't know. Uh, oh, the TV went... Uh, what's, on, what's on the TV? Uh, the 
uh, taking Congress to task and saying, look, you got to do your job. And in fact, a couple of uh, weeks ago, there were articles about how uh, Republican leadership... Oh, here it's it's uh, black people on MSNBC complaining. I don't, don't want to hear that bullshit. Anyways. Uh, someone said he pees laying down. No, actually, when I go to people's houses, it depends on where I'm at. I'll pee on my knees. I know it sounds really gay and weird, uh, but I'm comfortable in my own uh, masculine sexuality. No, I'll pee on my knees because I don't want to. Because I don't want to splash piss. It's just, nah, I don't, don't want to do it. But pee laying down, that's, that's that that could be pretty funny. But uh, I would find it impossible to do it unless you just were to pee on yourself. Yeah. So. Uh, Deacon three, hello from Fort Lauderdale. Just here finding it hard to sleep. You should always carry a bottle of, uh, or not carry, because I'm homeless. You should always have a, a bottle of, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Benadryl. I don't have any Benadryl. I, I lost it. So uh, I should go buy some tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it meant they're starving for your dick. What the hell are you talking about? This is a God-fearing Christian channel. LA has turned into Skid Row all over the whole damn city. Uh, yeah, every time I come to LA, it seems to get like worse and then it gets better and it gets worse. Yeah, but Skid Row back in the 80s and 90s used to be confined to that area. Now it's, yeah, it's like a lot of places. Well, uh, uh, wherever you live at in LA, if you live in LA City, yeah, it's going to be fucked up. If you don't live in LA City, you're fine. If you live like anywhere where it's not LA City, Basically, where what I'm saying is, if it's not LAPD patrolled, you're fine. Yeah, just don't, you know, if you if you want to live in LA, if you want to move to LA, stay the fuck out of LA City. Just move to uh, Santa Monica, Culver City, uh, Ventura. Uh, stay the fuck away from Compton. No, actually, no Compton. You're fine. Com even Compton, Compton don't they don't do that shit. Fucking Southgate, Alhambra. Fucking uh, Covina, West Covina, uh, Fontana. I mean, I mean, no, I take the back. Fontana, they have their shit, but they don't. They like, basically the, all those cities, like like all those fucking cities, they don't fucking they don't do that shit. They don't have like homeless people like all over. It's only L.A. City. That's only in the city of L.A. Gardena don't have that shit. Um, uh, fucking what else? Uh, Carson don't have that shit. Uh, Huntington Beach, no, Huntington Beach, is that LA? I don't even know. Cerritos, fucking Orange County. Orange County, yeah, they got some of that shit. Yeah, Orange County, yeah, they're trying to do that, but I, I don't, I, I, every time I go to Orange County, I don't remember going down a street where I see a bunch of homeless people in tents on a fucking street. I don't remember that shit. Yeah, Orange County, yeah, Orange County is bad. It, it, Orange County used to be nice. It, it, Santa Ana's fucked up, but Orange County ain't nothing like Los Angeles at all. I was even telling my sister because she was talking about like she wants to get the fuck out of LA. She's like, yeah, I want to get out of LA, but I don't want to move too far. And I was like, well, I said, you know, you, you know, you're you're kind of stuck because your rent right now where you're at, you're you're lucky that it's it's cheap because you've been here for a long time. Um, but you know. You know, she, she, you know, she's on the west side of town, so she, she could be good. But I'm like, if you move somewhere, you're going to be paying two thousand fucking dollars a month. So, and then you're, you have to get a new job, and like, then what's the fucking point of moving? Just might as well just stay where you're fucking at. So I don't know. Chicago makes you think about the first Candyman. I guess. I guess. It amazes me you have blue eyes. They're actually green. Or are they blue? No, they're no they're no they're green, see? So you guys are just yeah. I look Creole. That's kinda gay. Are you hitting on me? Cemetery cemetery weird enthusiasts hate Mexicans. You can't take Benadryl, it makes you hyper. Okay, I'm gonna just make you happy. Uh, have you ever thought about doing paranormal stuff? I don't have the time. Yeah, I've thought about it all the time. 
Uh, do I miss SKG Travels? I do. I do miss her. I do miss her, and I miss uh, little Eli. I hope they're doing good. I haven't talked to them in a long time. No, I, you know, I, there's no way for me to check up on her. We don't talk. We don't have, you know, she had, no, she's married. She has a, she, she got a, I think she had another baby. Uh, so she has two kids now. No, she's fine. Her, her husband is a, uh, I will, I won't, I won't say too much. Her husband is a big, scary, kick the shit out of me. I went to message. I went to visit her at her job the last time I seen her, and she was at a she was at her job, and uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say where she worked at because I don't I don't think she works there anymore. But she worked at a place, and uh, I, maybe I shouldn't be saying this live, but you know who cares? And um, she told me she's like, yeah, I'm dating this guy, and he's over there, and I swear to God, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. This guy was like, I don't know how tall he was, but he looked like he weighed 300 pounds and he was like, like he wasn't like, like yoke. It wasn't like that. But he was like, you know, he's like one of those big ass, like, you know how he, like, he looked like he used to play high school, like, like college football. And then he retired. He's fucking huge. Like his hands are like fucking, like fucking huge. He has this big fucking beard. And then he's with this fucking guy who looks just as scary. And dude, this motherfucker, like, listen, like, like, his friend was fucking dogging me while I was. He kept fucking looking at me like that. Not the boyfriend, the the her, the boyfriend's friend. He kept fucking looking at me like this. Uh, Tom Bolger with the five dollar super chat. Thank you very much, Tom Bolger in the building. Hey, hey, let me know uh, where you're fighting in August. Uh, 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 I don't know if I can come see it, but uh, I'll be rooting for you. Thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> but so, uh, thank you again. This this his fucking homeboy was like, and 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 I'm at the bar, right? And and, and you know. You know, you know, my shit's in my van or whatever, so in my flare gun. And and I told her like I was like, what the fuck is with her his friend looking at me? And then she turned around and she goes, I have no idea. And I'm like, why the fuck is this fucking fag keep looking at me? The boyfriend didn't even know I existed, but this motherfucker was like this. And he looked just like the boyfriend fucking white fucking big fucking beard scary looking and I was like both these I already know both these guys can probably kick my ass on a one-on-one -on -one fight like I already know that all right now now legitimately am I gonna go into a fight thinking that not at all I'm gonna go into a fight thinking I'm I'm whipping both their asses dude but at the time I'm like my like at the time I'm like 240 right and so I'm I'm still fat but like they're way bigger than me. Like I have skinny arms. I, I I have a skinny frame. I'm not a big guy. So I'm like, dude, they would beat the fuck out of me. Like, what the fuck do they keep looking at me? And I ain't scared. I don't give a fuck. I'll fucking light their asses up and two. I'll fucking punch both of their fucking the and the, I'll punch both of them in their fucking beards in two point five seconds. I don't give a shit. But I know I'll lose. And I'm like, what the fuck does this asshole keep staring at me for? And, and dude, it got so annoying. Like normally, if a normal guy in my situation, he would have already went up to him and be like, "What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, why do you fucking keep looking at me?" But it was like, it was like, it, like, it was like I felt like I was in a, um, like I felt like I was like, well, I was like, dude, let me get the fuck out of here because like, this is weird. Like he just kept every time I looked up, he was like. And I said, I actually think I went to my van. I might have even went to my van to get my flare gun. Because I was like, let me pop this bitch off and fucking deck his ass right in its fucking, fucking mouth and fucking, bah, just fucking, you know. I like I like to, you know, when I fight, I like to fucking throw that elbow. People, people like always like, they want to throw a punch, but elbows really do well. You should really think about it. I said, let me get the fuck out of here. 
So I just, I fucking left. That was the last time I seen her. And then, uh, there you go. But they had, they had their, uh, whatever. That was just a weird situation. Why do Americans call, still call black people African American in every other country? That's politically correct bullshit. Everyone calls them black. That's just politically correct shit. Uh, y yeah, but it's 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 she's on a different path. Uh, she's on a different flight path. Uh, you know, listen, let me tell you. If if I, you know, it. it, it In another dimension, it, it would have worked, but I just, there was a, yeah, there was a certain point where I was just like, this ain't gonna fly, so. Yeah, I know, we were both very cute. I know, we would have made a perfect baby together. Yeah, that would have been, you know, that would have been nice, man, but fuck, dude, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, my close friends know the story of, like, you know, what happened, and you know, um, yeah, it's just, it sucked. It sucked, but I, I hope, I hope for all the best or whatever. All right, anyways, guys. All right. I got to go to sleep. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to go to sleep. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go. Well, actually, no, I am going to go to sleep. It's already 1145. So this, this, I'm glad that I live streamed because if I didn't live stream that I would have went to sleep at, at 10 o'clock and I would have woke up at one and then stayed up for four hours and then went to sleep at 430. So uh i will be live again sometime soon i'm gonna nod off watch uh white women buy tampax at the on commercials thank you for all those who who sent me uh super chats uh i know i do need to stream more often and uh, hopefully i will soon all right guys i am out of here have a good night do i have anything else to say should I go live stream on a on a on an unknown channel? Maybe. If you guys wanna I, I might go live stream on another unused channel. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go stream right now on another channel. Most of you guys won't be able to find me. Peace out.